Ontario has an abundant black bear population. And thanks to the efforts of the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters, a spring hunting season was brought back into effect in 2021. And obviously this announcement is another significant step towards fully restoring the benefits of a spring bear hunt in Ontario. It shows there is a level of understanding that spring bear hunting not only plays an important role in wildlife management, but also in the quality of life for many Ontarians. Nowhere is the importance of a spring bear hunt more evident than in northern and rural Ontario. For them, the spring bear hunt brings back a significant economic boost and the renewal of an important part of their social and cultural identity. We would certainly like to thank all of our members and supporters who have expressed their support for the return of the spring bear hunt and stood with us for 17 years. Hard to believe it's been 17 years since we've been working on this file. This is a very memorable day. This is great news for the hunting community, great news for Ontario, and great news for our natural resources. The close encounters, an amazing bear action when sitting in a stand, is a real adrenaline rush. Wow, that's a meaty bear. Something you need to experience. The spring hunt has become a staple for me, and even become a favorite for my daughter August. Being able to set up a bear bait and trying to harvest a bear has become more exciting than deer hunting for us. Heading into the woods to load up baits, check trail cameras, and see all the bear activity is kind of addictive. Give me five, get ready. <laughs> you know, it's an exciting time to be a hunter in Ontario. Since uh, we've reopened the spring bear hunt across the province, uh, opportunities for hunting have increased and in fact, I'm working on my own bear bait here. In fact, the setup here you see, I did an article in Ontario Outdoors. Uh, you can read about it, it's called Mike's Hard Candy. But uh, basically, Ontario has full of fantastic bear hunting opportunities. By just going online and Googling Ontario Spring Bear Hunt, you'll see all the outfitters now that are offering uh, bear hunts. Myself, I'm gonna head up to northeastern Ontario uh, and experience some fantastic bear hunting. So this bait here I'll set up on my property and I've got a few friends that'll probably wanna come in here and bear hunt. But uh, we're gonna take off, head up north and uh, experience some of uh, northeastern Ontario's bears that haven't been hunted in over 15 years. Now having said all this, it's great if you have a property that you can bait and hunt on, but the reality is most of us don't. Luckily, Ontario has a plethora of outfitters that cater to bear hunting. From Halliburton to Cochrane and Perry Sound to Thunder Bay, there's plenty of outfitters that offer cabins, guides, preset baits, and even fishing if one chooses. Now with August having taken a bear earlier in the spring, I figured I might as well try to get a bear for myself. So we headed to Temiskaming Shores in northeastern Ontario to try a fall bear hunt with an outfitter. Of course, en route, we Let's made a quick stop at Canadian Tire to get some bait, We're scent killer. Scent killer's right there. And then off to Maiden Bay to connect with the owner, Greg Thornton. Hey brother. Who recently reopened this camp. I had a friend who was disappearing up there every summer and I would ask him, where are you going? He's like, it's too far, you, would, you wouldn't want to go. And as a kid, he introduced me to hunting. I used to go with him and his dad and sit, and sit in the tree stands going bear hunting. They never got one. But the old owner, was he was an American. So he was retiring, not feeling well. He brought me up there. And uh, I told the guy that I'd keep his business going for him and he'd be welcome back. And uh, I guess a lot of people were offering maybe double the money that I paid but he went with me knowing that I was going to keep it going. He was going to be able to come back. And uh, I don't know, I guess I kind of built a good relationship with him. But uh, other than that, there's, it was a good opportunity too, right? It's paradise up there. It's really nice. As soon as I saw it, I just fell in love. This is a great location with cabins set along the shores of Lake Temiskaming and offers fishing, swimming, places to explore, and of course, hunting. 
On this hunt, I'm going to be using August Killer Instinct Fierce 405 crossbow. So we set up a target and let August and Greg's son Owen take a few shots to make sure it was dialed in. This is such a reliable crossbow. I can't say enough about it. Having traveled around the world with it, and August has taken down some incredible animals. Are you on them? Yeah. Yes! Good hit! Now here's hoping some of August's good fortune. You hit him good. You hit him real good. Rubs off on me. Woo, give me five. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television is brought to you by Yamaha ATV. The first evening was pretty warm. August joined me for a sit in a great stand that was set up over the end of an old trail. A bit of a breeze coming out of the northwest. The warm breeze made it a nice evening to sit, but not much was happening. The swirling winds were moving our scent around, so we held out until dark, packed up our gear, and just as our guide was coming in to pick us up, a bear came into the bait and then ran off as the truck pulled in, which was pretty cool and gave me some confidence that tomorrow I might get a crack at this bear. The next day was a scorcher. August decided that hanging back at camp and swimming was a better option. So late afternoon, when things started to cool down, I headed for the stand. With this being my last day to hunt, I was hoping the evening cool down would get the bears moving early. On the way in, I had the guide pour out a jug of Analogic's Liquid Berry Blast. Figuring with the swirling winds, this delicious berry smell would be too tempting for the bears to resist. Okay, so I'm in the stand. It's my second night. I hunted last night with August. She was in the camera. We heard a big crash. Some branches breaking in behind the bait, but no luck. And then uh, packed up the camera gear, bagged up the uh, killer instinct, and we had a bear. <laughs> packed up the cameras, put away the crossbow, and uh, not a bad bear. Came right down the, the laneway and stopped, and then uh, Kenny came up the road in the pickup truck at 8.30 and shined his lights right on it. The bear didn't even really run away, it just sort of scooted off. It came back in and uh, after we left and cleaned up all the bait, so it's my last day. I only have two days, it's Labor Day weekend and uh, Greg at Maiden Bay Camp was fortunate enough to invite us up for a bear hunt. It's, their, it's really their first season. Uh, new owners of the camp, they're getting back into bear baiting. So if you're looking for um, a good bear hunt outfit, not far, five, you know, five or six hours from the GTA and a beautiful lake to Miskaming. Lots of bears. There's their cameras, trail cameras are showing lots of bears. We've owned the camp for a couple of years now. In that time, we've put out 12 bear baits. We're moving towards a goal of 21 for next season. We have a lot of big bears. There's um, bears that have been over 400 pounds. We've spotted some on our baits over 500. Yeah, they're, they're very abundant. <laughs> Native Bay Camp is uh, located on Lake Temiskaming, uh, right by North Cobalt. We are into fishing, hunting. In the lake, we have a uh, smallmouth walleye. And we also have pike. What a gorgeous walleye. <laughs> Black, beautiful. The camp you're able to drive to, it's down an old logging road. A uh, small car can get through. Well, once you get down to the camp, the cell service comes in pretty good. We have an American plan where everything's included, or we have a plan where you can bring your own food and take care of yourself. A lot of recreation, uh, families come and take in the whole camp. We have seven cabins boat rentals, a um, uh, large green space, and really comfortable uh, place to spend the day. A basic bear hunt includes being brought in and out to your stand, field dressing, breaking down of the carcass, and helping retrieve the carcass also. Our camp manager will be bringing you in and out of the stands daily. 
have some tree stands that are your regular metal tree stands. And we have um, special built tree stands that can hold two to three people made out of pine. Bow and rifle hunt is permitted, whatever is best for you. And uh, you can find us on madeinbaycamp.com. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television is brought to you by Minn Kota and Humminbird. It's amazing how a bear can just appear. They're so cautious and so quiet. One minute, you're sitting there staring into the abyss, and the next thing you know, there's a bear. There's a bear. He's coming right down the road. This one was definitely testing the wind for scent the whole way in. And once it caught me and looked up, I knew that I only had a split second to take my shot. Oh, I smoked him. Got him. I got him. The killer instinct to punch that bear good. Yes. I can't say enough about that bow. The fierce 405 gets the job done every time. Wow. And hearing the moan, I knew it wasn't far away. That bear's 40 yards from me. I'm telling you right now. This thing right here does the deal. Awesome. The Hunting Edge is brought to you by Browning Ammunition. To get the edge over the bears, I wore Yukon Gear's Scent Factor Camo and poured out Analogic's Berry Blast to sweeten the area. Killer Instinct's fierce 405 crossbow and Burris Oracle X rangefinding scope made sure my arrow found its mark. And of course, a Camillus knife made prepping this bear for the cooler a cinch. Heard that bear moan, so I'm gonna whip on the orange, go down there and uh, see if I can get my hands on him. I texted, uh, texted the guys at the camp. They're gonna come and get me. It's been a long time since I shot a bear in the fall. That was pretty exciting, I gotta tell you. Okay, I heard a moan, so I'm pretty sure that bear's down. I'm just gonna go see if I can find my arrow. I'm gonna set this crossbow on the trail there. And uh, we'll go find that bear. That bear was literally, there's my arrow right here. Whew. Right through. Wow. Look at that. Woo. Okay, so I'm gonna look for some blood. That arrow's covered in blood. Where did that bear go in? It went this way, I think. Oh yeah, look at this right here. Oh, he just dumped a lot of blood right here. There's blood. More blots of blood here. 
Oh, there's some more blood here. Gotta be close. This is kind of where I saw that bear disappear to. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this here. I got him. He's right here in front of me. He's got to get through these sticks. There he is. There he is. It's a good fat bear. Holy. Awesome. That's a nice. That's a nice bear. Beauty. Okay, I got it. Found the bear. I'm gonna uh, wait for Greg and Kenny to come back because uh, I might need a hand dragging that bear out of there. I think it's a sow. Nice roly poly bear though. Man, just like last night, a little earlier yeah. though. Hey brother, good job, thank you for your help, man. You're we welcome. got a bit of work ahead of us. I, uh, I went in, tracked the blood, and uh, it's a sow. Okay. So you said, you had some pictures of a big bear here. So I, you know, if I, if I probably waited an hour, you know, a big boar might have come out behind her, but I mean, it's the fall, right? So they've been, they've been bred, they've done their thing. So, but she was ultra cautious and uh, it never did go into the barrel was going over here to sniff that big pile of fudge you put on the tree. Um, but right here, she just stopped, put her nose down and started sniffing. So, and you dumped so much stuff on the road there, eh? So, anyway. That's awesome. Who's feeling strong? Yeah, let's go. Let's get it done. Let's go see. It was pretty exciting to have Greg come out and take part, helping drag out what will surely be one of the first of many bears for him and his crew. Okay, hang on, one, two, three. Wait there, Greg, wait there. One, two, three. One, two, three. I was a provincial meat inspector for seven years. So coming from a meat inspection background to where we are now, lets me understand what an animal is like after it's harvested, shown up into a butcher shop. Um, a lot of people make the mistakes of having game that is bruised or not trimmed or contaminated. Got her. You want to make sure you get your game home in, in a manner that keeps it consumable. If an animal hasn't been field dressed right away, the temperature hasn't lowered. You wanna get the temperature of the carcass down below four degrees Celsius as quickly as possible to stunt that bacteria growth. Uh, so time basically depends on temperature. The steps a hunter can take to cool an animal down would be field dressing it right away. You wanna make sure that animal's clean. Um, the wound holes have been trimmed out. There isn't a spread of contamination through the guts basically being broken and then bring it to your shop. I would suggest before you go hunting to make sure that the facilities exist, whether it's coolers, ice, um, knowing beforehand how you're gonna cool your carcass if someone isn't doing it for you. And you wanna make sure you can get it to a processing facility unless you're gonna do it yourself. You wanna you want make sure that animal's hide is removed. Um, that means when you're skinning, um, pulling the hide back, not letting it touch the meat. And if you're ever gonna use cold water, you wanna make sure that it's potable. It's, uh, it's not from a river or stream or anything like that. Um, so you wanna cut off everything before you do rinse that carcass also. Best practice this would be to cool it down, let the meat settle, ensure all the blood is out of it, the meat firms up, and uh, it's easier to work with and then freezing at one time and defrosting at one time is the best thing to do. Northeastern Ontario is an angler and hunter's paradise, and I'm sure we'll be back to Maiden Bay Camp for another adventure real soon. <laughs>